Electricity, or electric current, is the flow of free electrons. As current travels along a conductor, such as a copper wire, a magnetic field is produced perpendicular to the wire. If we reverse the direction of current, the magnetic field also reverses its direction. If the wire is wrapped into a coil, each section or turn of the coil produces its own magnetic field, and they combine to produce a larger and stronger magnetic field. This is an electromagnet, which has a north pole and a south pole, just like a permanent magnet. In addition to generating a magnetic field from an electric current, we can also do the opposite. We can generate an electric current from a magnetic field. If we pass a magnet through the coil, current is generated or induced in the wire. If we pull the magnet back through the coil, the direction of current reverses. If we move the magnet back and forth repeatedly like this, we can induce an alternating current. However, rather than move the magnet back and forth, in and out of the coil, which is a bit tedious, it's easier to rotate the magnet next to the coil. The strongest part of the magnetic field is at the poles, where the magnetic field lines converge and are most dense. The weakest part of the magnetic field is next to the centre of the magnet, where the magnetic field lines are least dense. When the centre of the magnet faces the coil, no current is generated. As the magnet rotates and the north pole approaches the coil, the increasing strength of the magnetic field induces current in the coil, with electrons in the coil repelled away from the magnet. As the magnet continues to rotate and the north pole leaves the coil, the decreasing strength of the magnetic field decreases the strength of the current, eventually back to zero as the centre of the magnet faces the coil. As the magnet continues to rotate and the south pole approaches the coil, the increasing strength of the magnetic field induces a current in the coil with electrons in the coil attracted towards the magnet. Notice how the direction of current has reversed. As the magnet continues to rotate and the south pole leaves the coil, the decreasing strength of the magnetic field decreases the strength of the current, eventually back to zero as the centre of the magnet faces the coil once again. If we plot current from the coil on a chart, we see a sine wave with current flowing from zero to a maximum positive value corresponding to the north pole approaching the coil, back to and through zero to a maximum negative value corresponding to the south pole approaching the coil, and then back to zero. Single phase electricity is generated when we have one coil next to a rotating magnet producing one sine wave, that is one phase of alternating current. Two phase electricity is generated when we introduce a second coil at 120 degrees to the first coil. The second coil also produces its own sine wave of alternating current, giving us two phases. Notice for the two coils, the current reaches its maximum positive and maximum negative values at different times, since a given pole of the magnet cannot be next to both coils at the same time. Three-phase electricity is generated when we introduce a third coil at 120 degrees to the first and second coils. With three phases, at any given time, we always have at least one phase flowing in the positive direction and at least one phase flowing in the negative direction. This means if we combine the three phases, we can generate more power and do more work. Although our schematic here is somewhat simplified, this is the basic construction and working principle of a generator. In reality, a generator looks a bit more like this. If you have seen our video on electric motors, this should look familiar. That's because a motor and a generator are essentially the same thing, but with the working principles running in reverse order. So if you haven't already seen our video on motors, make sure you check it out. Link in the description below. Almost any motor can be made to function as a generator and vice versa. This gives rise to what we call motor generator units, or MGUs. Most electric vehicles have a single MGU which functions as a motor when the vehicle accelerates and functions as a generator when the vehicle deaccelerates. This is what we know as regenerative braking, as well as kinetic energy recovery. When the vehicle is deaccelerating, the wheels are essentially freewheeling, 
which rotates the magnet at the centre of the MGU, and as the magnetic field intersects the copper coils, currents are induced. The MGU is thereby converting mechanical energy, that's rotation of the vehicle's wheels, into electrical energy, or electricity. That electricity is then used to charge the battery pack. Take a look at our video on batteries to understand exactly how they work, including how they are charged. Link in the description below. When the car is accelerating, the MGU switches back over to motor mode to function as a motor, converting the electrical energy from the battery pack into mechanical energy to drive the wheels of the vehicle. 